SCAF Logic introduces you to a world of logic. Hello and welcome to this SCAF Logic training video. Today I would like to demonstrate how to move console levels in an already built scaffold. In this presentation, I will be using Liar All Around and Liar Speedy Scaf scaffolds. If you are using a different brand, you may notice that I have different measurements and components available for use. As you can see, I have already built up two scaffolds. The first one is a Liar All Around scaffold, which is a vertical system, and the second one is a Liar Speedy Scaf, which is a frame system. It will become apparent shortly why we are using two systems. Let's start with the vertical system. I will go into the elevation menu and you can now see that I already have some defined console levels in place. If we go to the content menu and select move platform, you will see that there are two options, move console level, which is only for one section, or move the console row. We will select the whole row. I now have the possibility to move a level up or down. And when I am satisfied with the result, I will right click on it and apply my settings. The system will immediately calculate the safety distance between the console level and the main deck level. We will come back to that shortly. Let's go back to our plan drawing and look at our frame system. We will click on the frame scaffold and return to the elevation menu. As you can see, everything looks pretty much the same. But when we choose the content menu one more time and select Move Platform, Console Row, you will see that if I left click on a level, I can slide it up or down without the normal 50 centimeters distance between rosettes. This is because this console is with couplers and can be connected almost everywhere on the frame. Depending on the console type, you can be forced to follow the rosette distance on the vertical. If your console is connected by a coupler, it is possible to freely connect on a frame or a vertical. I will go ahead and adjust it into position and apply my settings. After looking at the structure, I have decided that I need to change something. So I will go back and lower the top level by 100 centimeters. Let's apply the new settings and switch to 3D view to see the results of our efforts. If we begin with the vertical system, you can see that we have inside guardrails at the moment. And the reason for this is that we don't currently have a wall. If we have more than 100 centimeters between the console level and the main level, inside guardrails will be automatically installed to protect workers from falling between the two levels. You can see that at the top we have inside guardrails as well. If we go to the other scaffold, we can see that here inside guardrails have been installed because the system has determined that there is too much distance between the top level consoles. In the next level, it is very simple to take one step up into the console area. And in the last level, you can easily step down and therefore there is no protection needed. You may have noticed that many safety issues must be considered when moving a console, but you don't have to really worry about that because the system will automatically take these issues into account.